What's up, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of Punk Rock Radar. Today, we are doing our first listen live reaction to the brand new Sum 41 double LP final album, Heaven and Hell. If it's your first reaction video with us, what we're going to do is listen to every single song on the album, pause, rank it on our pain slash satisfaction scale, and then also... Uh, give it a ranking 1 through 10. At the end of the video, we're going to give you our closing thoughts on the record and also assign a value 1 through 10. And uh, I am joined uh, today by our Discord kingpin, Elliot, better known as Barney Nimrod. And uh, Mr. Nimrod, happy Easter to you. Uh, how you feeling this morning? I'm feeling a little hungover, but I'm I'm chilling and I'm very excited to get into this record you know, it's Easter. We've got heaven and hell. We've got uh, yeah. uh, thematically. I think we're we're doing well here already. We've got the energies with us. Christ has risen. Some 41 has fallen. But this is their last album. And uh, it, it seems to me it's kind of like so we're doing two sides here. right? We've got the heaven and the hell side. And supposedly the heaven side, they're going for the more pop punk kind of going back to those type styles and stuff like that. But everything, yeah, yeah, show off the, I haven't got mine yet. John has his. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be looking at the lyrics as we go. I've never done, I've never had the album before. We usually do it on release day, but yeah, go on. Yeah, no, no. It's so, uh, from what I'm hearing, it, it seems like we're probably going to get the, the hell side. I kind of already know what we're probably going to get which is going to be more 13 voices. It's going to be order and decline, which uh, there's there's bangers on those. So it's probably going to be pretty good. But I'm way more curious for the heaven side, how they're going to incorporate a pop punk sound that they haven't really done since under class hero. So I'm curious what they're going to do there. So I'm very excited to check that out. Uh, what do you think, John? What's your anticipation for this record? I am like... I'm cautiously optimistic. Like, yeah. like you said, like I, I try not to listen to singles before the album. I like to experience it all at once, but I did listen to landmines. I did listen to rise up, you know, on release day, but only once each. And yeah. uh, I, I'm definitely curious for the heaven side. I mean, the last time they did the pop punk album underclass hero, I don't want to do any spoilers because we are doing the tier list next weekend. Yeah. Um, I mean, Underclass Hero is super catchy. It's like, you know, American Idiot style. But then, I mean, how many songs on that drop out to piano? So I'm I'm hoping this is like a more, you know, does this look infected, all killer, no filler pop punk yeah. album. You know, the, like that streak from all killer I, through Chuck. I don't, it, I don't think we're going to get that, but I'm curious if they do anything like that just from the singles I've heard once. I feel like it is going to be more in the Underclass vein, but... Uh, it's interesting you call underclass compared to American Idiot. I actually compare it to American Idiot as well. So yeah. that's pretty interesting. It, to <laughs> it totally is. Like, yeah, it's definitely their like their take, their doing of American Idiot. And it's and some free ones very good at kind of taking popular sounds and incorporating that with their own aggressive pop punk style. Like there's a lot of different bands. When we do the tier list, we'll go through all the times I think they're drawing from a popular band and mixing it with their own style. But it's they're able to keep it very fresh. And they went, like you said, the trajectory from uh, kind of a, a spring break uh, uh, MTV pop punk band into almost like this double gateway band. I always consider them like a double gateway band where it's like pop punk fans are able to get into heavier music through some 41. And a lot of people who are into heavy metal have actually been like, you know, I don't really like pop punk, but I like some 41. I like Chuck. And that's yeah. almost been like their introduction. So interesting. We got the two gateways here on the album cover. I consider them a double gateway band. They're a gateway for heavier people in the pop punk and pop punk and the heavy stuff. And this seems like a love letter kind of to both sides of their history and a love letter to the fans. So I definitely looks like they put a lot of effort into it. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Other I'm than excited. not being a big fan of the album cover, but <laughs> yeah, and we got the classic logo on the album cover. Let's let's shout yeah, that out do. too. I I feel like it's been quite a while since we've seen that logo, but um, we'll get into it here. We got 20 songs, so it's gonna, yeah, gonna be quite a right. long video. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, anything else you want to say before we get into this first track here on Heaven, waiting on a twist of fate? 
No, let's let's just jump into it, man. Let's get this going. So, you ready? All right, here we go. Waiting on a twist of fate. Three, two, one. All right, waiting on a twist of fate. I I was I was taking notes here as we go, man. Uh, okay. Intro. To me, reminded me of Strung Out. I, I can't place what song it is, but it had like a Strung Out feel to it. Um, chorus, yeah, yeah. like I could hear like that. We're doing fine I, from uh, Underclass Hero. So yeah, reminiscent of that. Um, one thing I will say, you know, we're doing the tier list, so I've been going back. Like Sum Forty One usually starts the album with a slower kind of like builder track this one we get straight into it straight up pop punk song uh yeah. we did get the piano drop out which <laughs> derek seems to love i would expect to hear that on at least five tracks like <laughs> but uh yeah man what do, what do you think overall oh out of this is one of the singles i believe and uh out of the three singles that were released that i did listen to one time this one was definitely my favorite one i remember this one standing out so I think this is a pretty good, this is a great opener for one. We're just kind of kicking it off with a lot of energy. And they did do the piano dropout, but I, I think it works here. I think yeah. it actually works for a good build up into the chorus again. Like I did, sometimes the piano dropouts go on for way too long, yes. right? 100%. Or sometimes it's like the end of the song. It's like a minute, of like Derek just kind of yeah. saying, I, I think this production wise too, I think this is like, the best they've sounded out of the newer records that I've heard for them. I mean, the production on their newer records have all been pretty good, mm. but I think the, the drums, especially after the piano dropout and the drums kick into doo -doo 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 -doo, it like really sounded great. And, uh, the music video that I did watch for this, uh, Dave does this crazy smooth move and I had to rewind it, watch it a couple of times where he does his guitar solo and he immediately puts his hand over to high five a guy and he high fives it. <laughs> for some reason sticks in my head, very smooth move, Dave, smooth operator. So, but I, <clears throat> so I like this song. I don't know if I want to go too high yet. That's because of kind of like what else we're going here, but I think it's a very solid opener. I really liked it. I'll go 7.5. Seven five. So you're like, that's pretty much like exactly where I'm at. Like, I feel like I really like this song. Actually, I'm in between reason to believe and catching fire. Um, yeah. man, if, if the whole album was like this, I would be totally stoked. So oh, yeah. with that, I'm going to, Hmm, I'm going to go seven, nine. I'll go a little higher. Okay. I, I did like it. I want to, I want to stay positive. I mean, I don't know. I, I like it. I, I mean, if the rest of the album, it's like good. I said, if it's like this, I'm going to be really stoked. Uh, where are you on the uh, pain satisfaction? Oh, yeah, I guess this would be yeah. reason to believe is pretty good. I got a reason to believe this will be a pretty good record so far. I mean, I think this is probably one of the best songs, maybe not the best of like the recent stuff. So mm. I think it's pretty good. This is a pretty good song. Yeah, totally underclass hero vibes, like 100 yeah, percent. That chorus. The chorus. Yeah, the chorus definitely. <laughs> All right. So we're both starting off pretty high, you know, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. We're going to get into Landmines, which I think was the, the debut single. Yes. Uh, it's already got 13 million plays. So are you ready to get into this one? Yeah, let's do it, bro. All right, here we go. Landmines in three, two, one. And I don't want to believe that maybe this is the end. I know you can't. All right, man. Landlines. I'll let you go first. Or landmines, not landlines. I'll let you go first yeah, well, on this one. What do you think? Uh, is it just me or does this sound like it could be like the intro is like a killer song? <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Right. It, what is it? it almost sounds like it's the rhythm to Mr. Brightside a little bit uh, like the pop punk Mr. Brightside. Um, th this song, this was another one of the big singles, and I wasn't so sure about it. Um, with how he was doing it. I don't think I've ever heard some 41 almost do a kind of a singing style like this, almost with the drums being like almost a little bit more uh, digital sounding there. Mm. But uh, the chorus, I think it's really catchy. It, it gets stuck in your head. And I guess that's all you really need to ask for, for a song like this. I, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad. I, I think it's all right. I don't think it's as good as waiting on a twist of fate. 
but I think it's a fun song to throw into the mix. So uh, I, I don't know. What, what do you think about it? I got heat for this, man. When this first came out, I was like, man, I, I like this song. And people, you know, I've heard everyone compare this to like MGK and like newer style. And I, of course, I yeah. could hear it. But I, I mean, I'm somebody who's an unabashed good Charlotte fan, mess fan. <laughs> if it's catchy and it makes me feel good, I don't care if you know what I mean. So yeah. I still I'm still in the reason to believe range yeah, i mean we get yet another piano dropout i'm keeping track i'm gonna see how many we get i'm gonna see if this passes <laughs> underclass <right>. hero yeah. <laughs> um but yeah man i like this song i i think it's i think it was a good choice for the single because it, it has classic some 41 vibes but it also can appeal to the new pop punk wave because it's yeah. you know mixes that in too i think the first song is, is a little better but, uh, I mean, yeah. I could see this making onto my playlist. I could see, you know, listening to this song here and there. So I'm going to go I'm going to go seven, four. I still really like it. I'm, I still gives me reason to believe. Yeah, this this actually is on a playlist of mine. It's actually mixed with the newer pop punk stuff. So it does kind of fit real well there. Uh, I'll go seven, one. So. All right. So reasonably high for both of us. So far, we got two sevens to start the album, which I would have signed up for from the beginning. Uh, I, I'm looking for like, I'd be stoked with like five or six bangers across this thing. Like, like we said, 20 songs, there's going to be some filler. Uh, yeah. Derek is the producer. So like, he doesn't really have someone in his ear saying, get this out of here. So I, I expect some filler, but I think the first two tracks, we don't have some yet, which is, which is a good start. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, these are, these both sound very different from each other and they both are very catchy in their own way. So all right, so we are going to now get into track three, which neither one of us have heard before. It's called Never. I Can't Wait. So can you wait, man, or should we get it going? I, I really can't if I'm being honest, bro. So let's let's get right, <laughs> in. Let's get right into this. All right, we won't keep Elliot or myself waiting. We're going to kick it <laughs> off in three, two, one. All right. I can't wait. Elliot, what do you think? Where are you going on this one? Okay. So I, I, I was proven wrong. I was not expecting to hear a song that sounded like this on this album. Uh, th this legitimately is like an all killer. Uh, does this look infected vibe? Like this reminds me of like all messed up or something like yes. that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like definitely. Like I can hear. Um, so I, I'm not going to say it's like blowing my mind or anything, but I, I like this. I'm glad they did a song like this. I'm glad we went back to kind of uh, the roots of some 41 here. And I, I thought it was fun. They also had like gang vocals, which I've never really heard some 41 use kind of like real pop, like uh, punk rock gang vocals. Almost sounds like a rancid mm -hmm. uh, chorus or something like that. Um, man, I, I don't know. I'm still in the reason to believe. I thought that was a fine song. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it was fun. I don't, you know, I don't think it's holding up to, uh all messed up or songs off does this look infected or all killer but i think it's a fine song i think it's good what do you, what do you think about him yeah i mean that chorus is a lot like twist of fate chorus i i'm also hearing oh, a little bit uh the underclass hero chorus the mel melodically very very similar now with that said i really liked it but i'm getting a little worried that we're on track three and it's already kind of repeating melodically yeah. um I, I get like enema of the state vibes from it too i was hearing like a little bit of like anthem in the background there was like you know the guitar lead is yeah. very subtle but you can hear it. it it's weird like it's got all the ingredients i want in a sum 41 song but it, it felt a little vanilla for me like yeah. it, it's so familiar it's very safe, very safe pop punk song. So <laughs> like it, it's a fun to listen to, but it, it's not anything that's going to stick into my mind. So, yeah, you know, what? I think you're right. I think I'm going to go in between makes uh, no difference and reason to believe I, I'll go. I'll go six. I'll go six, seven on this one. So I'm, I'm using the not just point five now because you guys always use these very specific numbers. So, <laughs> <laughs> huh? I, it's it's tough because like. I could see like rocking out to this song, but Definitely. it's not even remotely exceptional, right? Where, um, so I didn't say this, but like 
you know, zero is like garbage, hot garbage, and 10 is the best song you ever heard, right? And this yeah. is kind of, I don't want to say it's in the middle because I, I definitely like it, but I'm like in between makes no difference and reason to believe, like probably right around where you are, honestly. Yeah. It's, if I heard, if this was the first song I heard, I feel like I would go way higher, but because it's so similar. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go six, nine. I still, I still like it. I mean, it's, right. it's not a Keeping skip. It's not a skip worthy track. I feel like below six, I'm a pro I could potentially skip it. Uh, yeah. All messed up is a great call out, man. I didn't, that didn't, uh, that didn't click for me, but now that, now that you say it, I could totally hear it. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I think in the whole, once again, we always pause it in between songs. And I think if you're just listening to this through and through, I think I can't wait is fine for a song in the album. I think it adds that little bit of old school flair, but as a song itself, it doesn't really do anything new or too creatively. So I think we're good here. All right. So another, another decent track. I mean, I'm still, I'm still overall, I still feel like the album's in reason to believe territory. So this kind of confused me when I'm typing out the titles. The next one, we went from, I can't wait. Next one is called time won't wait. Yeah. So uh, very similar titles. Maybe who knows? Maybe we we'll get another similar song. Um, it was the same same song, but instead of "I can't wait," they say "Time won't wait," and that'd be really good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're we're thinking another underclass hero style song, which you know I'll be all right with. It's fine. All Let's right. go for it. Here we go. We're gonna kick this one off. Time won't wait. In three, two, one. It's about time I call up to meet you. Don't say I won't wait. All right, time won't wait. So, Elliot, I'll start us off with this one here. Oh, um, I again, it's not it's yeah. not bad, right? It reminds me of this uh, simple plan song, the "Shut Up." I think it's called, which is it's kind of funny because I I think they were just on tour with each other last year. Uh, definitely more of the new school vibe. Probably, probably my. I don't know. I don't know if it's my least favorite, but I, it's still really catchy, man. I still don't think it's a bad track. I'm going to I think I'm still like in this neighborhood. I, like, I have very similar feelings about the last song. Uh, maybe over time, I, I'll consider this filler. Like it's it's not really I don't know. I, it doesn't sound like a classic Sum 41 song at all. This is definitely like something I haven't really heard them do before. Which is fine, you know. I was just complaining they sound the same, so I can't complain about both. But I'm gonna—I think I'm gonna go. Let's go six six on this one. Maybe a grower, but uh, yep. catchy, but didn't it immediately grab me. What do you think? Well, I mean, if we're we're talking about people think landmine sounds like an MGK song, I think this literally sounds like it could be on an MGK pop punk album. Yeah, like very close, like very close, like it, it's not that far off especially with the, how the drums sound and stuff like that. And, and Derek has been featured on a lot of these newer bands. They've been doing like feet, like featuring Derek and he's been on it. So he has done the style and he has been familiar with this newer style of pop punk, but this is definitely like the, 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 the 2020 pop punk right here. So mm -hmm. I've never heard some 41 do something like that, but I have heard Derek on songs that sound like this. So I, I don't think it's that bad. It's like a catchy song. Um, but it, it doesn't do too much for me, even when it comes to like the newer school pop punk stuff, which I, I don't mind. I like some of it. I like some of it. I think it's it's fun. I, I think this doesn't even stand out in that regard. So but I'll, I'll do like I'll do like a six on it. Going so to 6.0. Yeah. Yeah. Firmly makes no difference. Like I, <laughs> I could skip it. I, I could listen to it. If it was on a playlist, I think it would be fine. But I think on the album, I, probably be like eh we'll go to the next one so it's not bad or anything it's six i guess six is it six is getting to skip territory i could probably yeah. but i yeah i feel like i'm 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 being a little generous here I, I i mentioned i'm on like five hours of sleep the last two days i could see how red my eyes are so <laughs> Dude, you um, look very tired John. I, I, but you you've been consistently higher than me but we we've been pretty <laughs> close so not too much difference here mm. all right so yeah, we're, I mean, still decent album. I don't know if it's going to change. You know, maybe we're just feeling generous from Easter or whatever. I don't know how much that's <laughs> swaying, how much that should or would sway anything. But um, we'll move on here. This is the last song on the A side, Future Primitive. Uh, last song on the A side for Heaven. So let's get into this one, man. Are you ready? 
Yeah, let's do it, dude. All right, here we go. Future Primitive, three, two, one. Another day, I've got no convictions. Hard to say, Windows South. All right, Elliot, if you want, if you want to go yeah. first here on this yeah. one here, Future Primitive, what do you think? Uh, I think this one's pretty good. I think it's pretty rocking. Um, uh, chorus almost sounds like it does uh, like a bad religion type thing almost with the oh. Kind of sounds like bad religion there a little bit. Um, th this does kind of sound like an in-between of like maybe it could have been a song on Dust is Like Infected, but definitely leading towards more of the underclass hero vibe once again with kind of like confusion and frustration in modern times. I think would be like the most similar pace song that I can compare it to. But th this wasn't bad. I think it was it was pretty decent uh, overall. I think it was better than the uh, last two, I think. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Well, I want to. I want to see your score for. I want to see my score. All right, I'll, I'll. I'll go. What did I go for? Seven. Uh, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go six. I'll go six nine on this one. So. Oops. All right, Ooh. six. Nine. This is gonna be our. <laughs> this is gonna be our first. <laughs> um, one where we're different on. Uh, for me, this. I think this is the best song in the album so far. I'm gonna go catching fire. Um, really. So Damn. Elliot. Two two of my favorite bands, Sum 41 and Pennywise. And to me, this is like if Sum 41 wrote a Pennywise song. That Yeah, yeah. You're saying Bad Religion. I dude, I hear so much like from the ashes era Pennywise. And it's tough for me to say, like, where would this be on From the Ashes? I, I don't I don't know, but I didn't expect a song like this. Like like you're yeah. saying, does this look infected? Underclass hero, for sure. Um, I'm digging this, man. This for me, this is the best song in the album so far, and I like to hear it. I like the faster, more aggressive some song. So, man, I I don't I know I'm gonna be kicking myself because I'm so negative on these usually, but yeah. and I'm like doing a complete 180 here. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Some 41's like a top five, top ten band for me. So me too. Maybe yeah. some rose colored glasses, but I'm gonna go eight eight three. I like this one a lot. You know what? You know what? I think I like this better than Landmines. I think I gave Landmines like a 7-2 or something. Like, they can bump me up to like a 7-3. 7-3. Seven, seven, I'll allow it. I can, we'll, I, can um, I, can I can never remember when I give scores of these things. So I think Landmines is in the 7. So I think this is better than Landmines. This is my second favorite song. I think I still like Waiting on Twist of Fate better. But I agree with the Pennywise thing, especially the the chugging palm mutes. Yeah. Definitely sound like something Pennywise would do. You're right. So Yeah, I'm into it, man. That the, I, I could have I could have seen that as track one on side B. Well, that would have been a great way yeah. to kick it off. But I, maybe there's a different vibe on the on the album. It's tough to talk about sequencing before you're through it. But yeah, dude, I'm I'm totally into this. Uh, eight three. So that's the end of side A. Uh, for heaven, we're gonna move over to side B with dopamine, which I think is the newest single. Didn't listen to it. Came out on Friday. I was at the oh, airport almost all day on so um didn't <laughs> listen to this yeah i think there's a video for it and everything if i saw it correctly on instagram right. uh but let's, yeah let's get into it dude here we go it's gonna be dopamine first song on on side b so here we go three two one you said you did it for the dopamine Hmm. All right, that was th that was dopamine. All right. Ugh. What do you think, man? Do you, who, do you want me to go first? Do you want to? I'll, I'll go first. Right, this is the worst it. song so far, easily. This song sucks, kind of. The the chorus is horrible. I did it for the dope. It's kind of cringy, honestly. It, it really, it really getting into that newer pop punk sound here, and I don't think it works very well with some forty one, especially being as like old as they are. This sounds like a song that like. One of the TikTok pop punk guys would do. I did it for the dopamine, yeah. but I didn't mean it, it's kind of it's kind of it's a skip. Like I'd skip this song easy. <laughs> I don't know. I'll go into the, like the slipping away here. I'll go like four eight. I don't like this song too much. I mean, it, it still has some good elements to it. It's still like it has some, you know, it, it still sounds fine. There's parts of it that are OK, but 
this is the worst song so far easily what do you think hmm i i don't disagree with what you're saying at all like okay. and it's it's so funny that you mentioned mr brightside earlier but like to me yeah. like that those verses like the the melody of mr brightside i'm hearing in in the uh in the verses on this song um it's it's totally new school um uh, geez i don't know man i was bobbing my head like it's catchy but it's not my style like i don't think it's a bad song still yeah hey, uh, um it reminds I, me i think go ahead go ahead sorry it, like uh very like the new blink stuff like i feel like this would fit in on on one more time too which you know i didn't love uh, yeah i'd give it a 4.8 on one more time as well mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah i i but, for me, ahead, man. it makes no difference, right? Okay. This is maybe the first instance of filler, but I, I don't, I don't hate it. Like, I think I'm gonna go f- five, seven, five, five seven. seven. All right, all right. <laughs> so, I don't like the dopamine line. Yeah. I, I think it's a little, it's a little cringy. It's a little like I don't know. It's, it's like, it's like it feels pandering to me, but. <laughs> it's still catchy i'm not gonna say it's not catchy i'm not gonna say the melody isn't in my head as we currently speak and i'm trying desperately to get it out as quickly as i can but let's move on to the next song so it is catchy yeah one of these days we need to establish like a like a scale for the numbers like for me like a in that five range is like i'm like indifferent but i don't dislike it it's just like it's yeah no that that sets me usually it's like i could skip it i could listen to it depending depending on the mood, but I think, I think I would probably skip this one every single time. Yeah. But I could see it, that. It, yeah. <laughs> this, this may be the Especially, first time that like, I'm optimistic about an album during first yeah. listen. So I don't no, know. I, I still, I'm still enjoying everything I'm hearing so far for the most part. So just not this one. Let's, let's <laughs> go to, let's go to the next one. Not quite myself. All right, here so, we go. Three, two, one. All right, that was track seven. Not quite myself. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do you think, John? You start us off here. This is to me. This is a filler track. I I, I didn't hate it, but it's it, it sounded like almost like a Sum Forty One melody track. Like like I um I feel like I've heard this before from them um yeah the chorus sounds very familiar i can't pinpoint it but yeah that, I, I was trying to think i was like where have i yeah. heard this like i it sound it's very underclass once again like this could fit right in on underclass but uh but yeah c- c- continue sorry hmm. yeah I, i'm still mulling over my thoughts so definitely feel free to okay energy yeah i mean this one i didn't there's like all the elements there of a song that i would love but for some reason, it just doesn't connect and it just feels a bit bland by the end. I mean, there's the octave riffs. I love that. There's the little acoustic breakdown before the chorus. I love all those things. When those things are done properly and right, those can be like my favorite types of songs. I love acoustic breakdowns right before the chorus kicks in. To me, it just all kind of blends together. Maybe it's the production, maybe, or something like that. But to me, this 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 was, I liked it better than dopamine personally, but maybe you don't, but not not by too much i'm still in like it, it's not a skip i'd listen to it but it, it does feel a little filler what go ahead what do you think i, I think i might go like five five eight on this one so that's like almost exactly what i was thinking so like this yeah. this song there's an eve six song it's like i'm all right i tell myself twice and it's it's got like the the chop guitar like down it like and that's that and i think that's where i'm placing it um mm. man five eight feels good but i'll I'll go i'm gonna go five five actually like it okay it's the five five for me is like filler it's it's fine right it's yeah. it's all right it's it, i don't dislike it I, i'll probably listen to it a few more times so i'm gonna go five five i i i feel like dopamine for as cringy as it is it had it had a chorus it had a hook i feel like this one maybe is lacking that hook so it, it does lack a hook, a real catchy hook. I will agree with you. So 
this hey this is the first time you're lower than me though so yeah <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting dark john is coming out i'm going to the heaven side now so maybe i'm going to be more positive going on from at, here on out as my as my coffee slowly drains like out of me the caffeine high is is slipping maybe maybe my scores will come down I, I told you i made a point to have my desk in stand-up position because i was worried i was going to be like drifting off so <laughs> it, it could be uh, sapping my energy faster than I, anticipated I, I think dopamine and not quite myself are not helping with the energy level either so but let's uh let's move on to bad mis bad mistake let's check this one out john all right here we go bad mistake three two one i'm only saying this because i All right, that was that was bad mistake. I'll I'll let you go here first, man. I I I'm thinking of a song it reminds me of, and I'm just not playing. Dance, it. fucker, dance like yeah. you never <laughs> had a chance, and no one only knew that was yes. really <laughs> only you and dun 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 dun. dun. Uh, yeah, it's You're Gonna Go Far Kid by The Offspring. Yes, okay, thank you. I'm like, where have I heard this before? Uh, okay, dude, I was like looking it up because I was like. Is this this song? I was like, oh yeah, this is fucking. Yes. Uh, you're gonna go for a kid. So I mean, it's it's almost the chorus is so familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, it's you're gonna go far, kid. But I would say this: you're gonna go far, kid is a fun song, and this so far is my favorite on the B side. Yeah. <laughs> Just cause oh it yeah. Sounds like you're gonna go far, kid, <laughs> and uh, it, it it still has its own thing going on. It has uh the guitar solo. I mean, I think Dave was just like, we can do a pop punk uh side of this, but I have to get like at least five guitar solos into this shit. So I'm not just bored playing power chords. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely not my favorite. It's the best on the B side, though, so far. So what do you what do you think if you're going to go far kid by the offspring? John, where are you going <laughs> to? Man, <laughs> before you said that, I, I was like, I, I, I don't I mean, Honestly, like this is it's a pop punk album. Like I'm not looking for them to reinvent the wheel, but um yeah. I I think this is I mean all plagiarism aside, I think it's a banger. <laughs> um <laughs> like it's a banger. It's a good it's, it's a good song. I think I honestly uh I think I'd go like I'll go I'll go like I almost don't want to give it too high cuz it's so familiar, but it happens. Like we get chorus is repeated it's not exactly but it's very similar i'll go seven on this one i like this i like this song so mm. what do you think I, I mean the thing is i could totally see this not only making it onto my playlist but being one of my most listened to songs of the year so i mean i have to be in catching fire now okay do i subtract i mean a lot of pop punk is you know we like it because it's familiar and yeah you know maybe not to this extent but it's like mm, it's like home you know so i really like the song i'm i'm going to look past how similar it is to you're gonna go far kid okay, and i'm gonna give it an eight too i i really like it i mean it's it's got a badass solo it's got a great chorus catchy verses i mean mm -hmm. wh what more can we really ask for from some 41 25 30 years into their career i'm, I'm gonna go eight too i like you know, it I'll, i will also <laughs> say there is many instances once we do the some 41 tier list of choruses and melodies that they have borrowed and repurposed into mm -hmm. songs especially on chuck i'll i'll show you a couple i'll talk about them when we do the tier list so you know i'm not going to subtract points for it i, I think let's do a mulligan once again let's do seven five because i do like this song and so i'll go seven five on it I, i'm not going to subtract points for being similar you're going to go far kid some 41 has has done this many times and many other bands have done this where it's very similar and it's sometimes you don't i, I write songs where i'm like later i'm like oh this is just a lag wagon chorus mm -hmm. i didn't even realize so it happens so yeah like if you told me like this whole album is just like repurposed songs like i would be like okay you know i i hear it but yeah, it's fine yeah. I mean, I, I know, no spoilers, but already I like this better than Order and Decline. So uh, I like it. I'll take it. Yep. Um, the next song is called uh, Johnny Libertine here. Another new song. Um, anything to say before we get into it? Are you ready to just rock it? No, I, I'm just uh, I'm just going to guess this is going to be like a, a Billy Talent style song. I don't know why, but I'm just guessing. If it is, let's 
I swear I didn't listen to it. So let's go for it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, I'll 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 start here on this one. So, I, I this conundrum, man. It seems like it's just gonna keep popping up here, and I'm kind of okay with it. Um, I mean, this is what they do. They do this. Uh, they used to do this every single album. That little short, fast punk song. So mm-hmm. this is just kind of a throwback to that. And when it comes to those style, short, little, fast punk songs, like that, they all they used to. Th- I think up until Underclass Hero, or no, up until Screaming Bloody Murder, they had it in every single record. It was that one song that was just like a minute, thirty seconds long. That was like a fast punk song. This one, I think, it, it's pretty good. Like if we're looking at it as that aspect, if it's just kind of thrown in here to be like a throwback to what they used to do, I think it's fun. But I, I give it like a like a six point five or something like that. So. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, this is a windows down summer pop punk song, right? Yeah. Road trip song. I like it, man. I, I mean, I'd be okay with a whole album of songs like this. We even got like the, like the just solo drums. It was kind of reminiscent of the mm-hmm. Hey Ho, Let's Go Ramones. Um, it had like really everything I was, I look for and it's 90 seconds. Love it. Um, <laughs> reason to believe for sure okay. for me. Uh, man, I, I, aside from familiarity, which again, I'm not, I'm not really going to subtract if it's a good familiar, um, I'm going to go, let's go seven, seven on this one. I could, I'm definitely okay. going to keep listening to it. It's, it's only 90 seconds long. No, uh, it's, a, it's, it's fine for where it's placed to right before the end. I like, I like the placement. So I'm not going to say like, it's anything blowing my mind here. And I think they've done better short little songs mm. uh, before, but th- this is good. I like, I like that they threw one of these on here. So, yeah, I, I definitely feel like I'm going to get killed for being so positive when I was so negative on blink and green day. But uh, I mean, it's fun. You know, it's not like yeah. it, 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 it's not for me, I get lost on four minute bloat tracks and that's a hundred percent. Not what this is. I I'll take a familiar fast song over four minutes of drawn out six times the chorus at the end of the song. That's well, we'll, we'll wait for the, the hell side to get into all that. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right. But yeah, I'm going to go seven, seven. I'm, I'm staying positive here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing these guys in like a month, uh, with Lewis Oh, yeah. in, in uh in brooklyn I, I definitely wouldn't care if they threw johnny libertine into the set list that that's what no. i'm gonna say so. also totally wrong it did not sound anything like billy talent if i saw there was a minute 30 seconds i would have knew exactly what it was <laughs> uh, yeah i didn't i didn't notice that either but it looks like the next song is gonna be the longest one on on the hell side at three minutes and Heaven 23 side. seconds but that's the yeah. longest song on side a there's like the first yeah, the first perfect, five yeah. songs were all sub three minutes. Pe- people were saying uh, some that this seemed too short in the discord and uh, I'm fine with it being short. I'm it's fine 20 with it songs. being just straight to the point. Yeah, <laughs> you know? so I- I'm fine with it just kind of doing a little little burst of pop punk and then we're going to go into the metal side. Uh, so yeah. we'll see how that we'll see how that fares against the heaven side. But I'd say right now we're fairly positive on mm-hmm. this overall like a few few road bumps but overall i think i'm probably up around like I, i'd give this probably like a seven which is where i'm probably going to end up yeah, so we should we should give a score for heaven and a stop. score for hell. that's a good idea yeah, i'm glad you mentioned yeah. that all right uh but yeah let's get into the last song dude and finish up the heaven side so i can take a piss and get more coffee and we can do the <laughs> hell side <laughs> all right here we go radio silence it's the last song on heaven it's three minutes and 23 seconds let's get into it in Bless three God. two one all right man radio silence final song on heaven what are your what are your initial thoughts here I mean, for the last song, I think this works fine. This is this is like 100 percent like an underclass hero song, which I think we've got mostly the underclass hero vibe off the heaven side so far, which is kind of what I was expecting. There was a couple uh, things thrown in there to mix it up. And so I think that was cool. But I mean, I, I don't mind this song. So as a final as a final song, it's 
it's not bad. I'd give it like, I don't know. I guess I'm feeling like makes no difference to reason to believe. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't mind it. I kind of like the how he sings the chorus. I think the piano kind of works for a final track here, but I don't know. I'll, gi- I'll give it like a six, six, four. OK, yeah, yeah. That it's what's that song? It's like um, if I failed you, I swear I tried my best. It's another Sum 41 song that's remind that it reminds me of. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's a little boring, honestly, this. Yeah. But I mean, I, I'm fine with one song on this. It's the last song. Um, it works for like a closing indie, but they, they've definitely had better, slower closers mm-hmm. than this or even slower songs. Like I, I like I like a lot of some 41 slower songs. And this one definitely does like some of my favorite ones are like pieces and mm-hmm. um, uh, with me and uh, speak of the devil, which kind of has like a slower bit of it off underclass. I like as well. Uh, but th- this one is is pretty whatever. It, it's fine. Yeah, you could tell it's like leading into the next one yeah. too the the slow you know mm-hmm. which for a double i expected you know for digital it works but for the vinyl and this i, I don't know if it's a double cd or not because only 55 minutes you could definitely fit it on one but yeah um where am i gonna go with this six i'm, I'm just gonna copy your score here at six four i i feel right. i'm feel pretty indifferent to it but it, it was fine yeah. uh it's i'm definitely it makes no difference I, I don't think i went slipping away at all if i if remember correctly which is odd for me normally i'm living in the orange so i know usually you're a big old <laughs> negative nancy but today you're just positive paul <laughs> i i, I went <laughs> all right i went i went slipping away one time but that was it so yeah. we never we never got even close to all messed up so yeah, that's true. Well, that's good. Mm-hmm. So we're going to take mm-hmm. a, a brief coffee break here. But I mean, if you're oh, watching on YouTube. Uh, do we got like a final score oh, here real quick? Good, good, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's see where we're at here. Man, I feel like I was living in the sevens. Um, I I'm feel a- like I was like either a high six or exactly seven, but we'll see. Yeah, for side, for the heaven side, uh, let's go seven two. Feels good for me. Okay. What do you think? I'll go. I'll- I'll go solid seven. So yeah, yeah. That's I mean, I would sign I up might, for that. I might have my, my score is all together might have uh, been a little lower, but once again, this is song by song versus the what we expect to listen to when we go through the whole album. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of hard to judge uh, sequencing and consistency sometimes when we're pausing and stuff like that. But I think a seven is fine for this. Like I think uh, I like the neck deep album a bit. A, a good bit more than this mm. one honestly but th- this was not bad this was this was a fun album this was definitely more enjoyable than the green day or the blink album so all right so we're gonna we're gonna do a, a brief pause get some coffee mm-hmm. um find my cat because i hear him meowing somewhere uh and it, we'll be right back but yeah if you're watching on youtube we'll be right back now all right all right so we we are back for the hell side i'm sitting down i've gained one cat who was trapped in the bathroom and uh we are we're ready to kick this one off uh first song elliot i believe this is is uh italian do you want to take a stab at this song title i think you gotta switch uh do you still have the heaven oh there we go there you go so i, I do i speak zero italian to see a Priprase al seller. Pretty sure I butchered that. I'll ask my girlfriend how it's supposed to be pronounced, but Ooh. yeah, I, I I don't know either. I, I but uh but, but yeah, we'll we'll kick it off. It's a minute. It looks like a intro into uh to rise up. If I had a guess, transition from uh heaven to hell. So let's kick this one off here. Let's give this a go. Three, two, one. <laughs> all right you want to just you want to just roll into the next one yeah we might as well we can't really score this at all so let's just go (laughs) straight into rise up all right here we go we're just gonna do rise up three two one All right, that was the, f- I guess the first real song on the Hell 
side rise up this was the single came out like maybe a month month and a half ago yeah, it was uh, the first one, i believe what do you what do you think of this one uh, landmines was the first one um i think this is honestly it's it's as bad as mix of pop punk uh that aggressive pop punk stum 41 does and metal as a, a twist of fate was on the the mm-hmm. heaven side honestly wasn't like too different i think i might like twist to fade a little more but i do like the build up from the intro into this i think it does i almost feel like they could have started with this side but, yeah uh, a little bit but uh, to me i think this is a, a good single i think it's a fine song uh i'll probably go so uh, i'm feeling reason to believe on this one pretty firmly i enjoyed it i'll go like seven four i'll go seven four on this one yeah, I mean, it's it's very very similar to the last two albums. Like, I I definitely love when they get like heavy and like the bridge and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one, man. I, I mean, reason to believe I like it. Uh, it's not quite a banger for me. I I am like a little worried that that was the single from it. Like, I I don't want to I don't want to go low and then it only gets lower. Cause I do like this style of some 41 song. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's that good solid mix between their pop punk side and the, the heavy metal elements they incorporate into their stuff. So I think it's, I think it's fine. There seven we go. two. Seven All two. Right. I, I, th- I think seven two. I do like it though. Yeah. Like I, I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like the heavier songs, like it's more of like an incubation growing period for me. Yeah. Like where like the pop punk ones, I know me immediately right away. If I'm going to like it, these ones, I, have to listen to like multiple times to really get a feel for them. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I agree. It, it's very order and decline, very 13 voices. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll see what else they got in store for us on the hell side. <laughs> the hell side. All right. <laughs> Next song is called uh, stranger in these times. Let's kick it off here in three, two, one. times all right stranger in these times what i feel like i've remembered to reset these like maybe twice so far so let me do, do this oh, quick it's all good all good um yeah man i, don't I uh so to, to, to me th- this sounds like chuck like straight yes. up. like this sounds like it's straight off of chuck um like this doesn't sound like 13 voices this doesn't sound like a like a little bit it, it, obviously they do the metal stuff to me like how he harmonizes and how the vocal melodies go are very chuck and i think this is the best song on the album so far i think this is my favorite track so far i think this was great i thought i love the fast pace i love the melodies and the chorus uh the breakdown right before i pick up the chorus again was a little weak it didn't really do anything too interesting but i think overall this is uh my favorite track so i'm going firmly reason to believe catching fire i'm going eight i'm going eight on this one this is my favorite track i think so what do you think yeah i i did i really like this one a lot Mm mm-hmm Mm, Chuck, yeah, definitely Chuck. I, I'm still getting that s- very similar melody, the underclass hero melody, uh, still leaking through a little bit. But I, I am also reason, reason to believe. And um, I don't know if I'm, I'm not gonna go quite eight, but I will go. Let's go okay. seven seven. I'm, I'm feeling pretty close to where you're at. I mean, I do want to okay. say that. Production wise, I think this album sounds fantastic. I'll I'll give them that. The I drums, think. the drums are killing. I know they don't have uh, Steve-O on the drums anymore, but this uh, drummer they have in for this album is like, mm. like so many great fills that sound really good. So, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think that what was the highest song you rated on the? What's the highest rating you gave so far? I, I usually remember. I usually have like a a lap my other laptop over here, and I'm like uh, I have okay. a spreadsheet. I I don't remember, but I feel like I. I had something in the eights. I think I had an eight, two or eight, three. Yeah. One of them was, I can't remember what it was, but okay. <laughs> I don't but let's, uh, let's go on to the next one here, uh, which is, I don't need anyone. I don't need anyone. He doesn't need nihil. anybody. All right. A little, a little nihilism in our th- <laughs> song. Here. So let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All 
All right, man. I'll go. I'll go first on this one here because. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. I've I've definitely have mixed feelings here. I I felt like the solo and the backing guitar and drums during the solo were without a doubt the best part of the song. Like overall, though, I'm getting like a kind of groove metal um, vibe to this one. The I really don't like the chorus. It reminds me of like a Christian rock. One of those like kind of metal-y Christian rock bands from the uh, early two thousands. Forty forty one days grace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little too too goofy for me. If, if they cut out the solo, I would probably be like in the threes. But uh, I'm going to add a full point for that solo. But this is probably my least favorite song on the record so far. So I'd probably be at a three five without the solo. But again, I'm going to go up to four or five here. But it's it's goofy. Really, you're that low on this one? Yeah, Man. it's it's very okay. skillet, thousand foot crutch style yeah, this is, so this is something like a lot of people like to say that some 41 like they have all this metal influence and all of this and they're like you know when you say that you're thinking of like death metal and thrash but there is in the metal stuff that some 41 does there is so much post grunge in new metal influence yes. <laughs> on a lot of it and that is very prevalent in 13 voices and order and decline where there's some songs that are just like they're they're like straight up just three days grace songs to me. Um, I, now I don't hate this too much. It's still, I think I really like what I'm noticing now is like how technical the bass is now being, which you normally don't get on a Sum 41 record. It, they're the so the bassist is really kind of doing some interesting stuff on the hell side here. But I, I'm also with you. I'm not super hyped about this one. I'll go five five on this one. So. It's not my least favorite by any means, but mm. it's not that great. Yeah, I I mean, like, we are what? How many how many songs in are we? 14, uh, 14 songs in? So, yeah. I mean, the, the thing is that I'm not, like, I'm not bored of the album yet. I, we're, we're getting some variety here, but mm -hmm. this isn't the variety I really want. I would I would have shaved off a, at least one of those choruses like the chorus is slower so it kind of drones on as it is but then we heard it like maybe four times I, i'm not sure don't quote me on that uh yeah ripping solo but other than that it's pretty vanilla radio rock so not mm -hmm, feeling it not feeling it but overall i don't hate it i don't hate it um oh, 4.5 <laughs> <it a> <laughs> it, would have been a 3.5 without that badass solo by dave <laughs> yeah, if you cut that solo, that solo really man. did yeah, that solo really did save it because it picked up and the solo was honestly an awesome guitar yes solo. I, I was thinking about bumping a point and a half for the solo uh, yeah the solo is that that was the best solo so far yes. in the whole record so all right so Ooh. we are on the final track of the a side of hell the song is are called we? oh Okay. Yeah, over the edge because we had that like intro track. That's um, right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So this is track five. It's over the edge, and uh, you ready to kick it off? Let's do it, bro. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one. All right, I'm guessing that piano is going to lead into yeah. the next song. Very, very much underclass hero. I mean, not the song, that part. Uh, but mm -hmm. Elliot, what, do you, what did you think of this one overall? Mm, I don't know. I thought it was uh, a little boring, honestly. Weirdly enough, it was like very thrashy and sounded like it had energy, but I just didn't feel like the energy was actually there. And the chorus was also like really bad, in my opinion. Yep. I thought it was yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I, the worst. I wrote down boring ass chorus. <laughs> yeah, the chorus is. I actually think I like the last song's chorus yeah. better slightly. Like, um, weird because there's like has all the breakdowns and stuff that you would think would make a very energetic song, but uh, I don't know. I thought it was boring. I actually, I actually liked it le less than the last song. So by by a little bit, uh, because the chorus was also it was also very radio rock. It was also mm -hmm. very three days grace, very skillet as well. But I mean, is it getting points for doing some more thrash metal stuff? Uh, eh, not really. So I didn't think it really did anything really bumped it up by any measure. So I'll, I'll go like, I would like solid five on this one. I could take or leave this song. I'm, I'm fully in a makes no difference towards slipping away. So I guess that's just a solid slipping away actually. Yeah. I'm slipping away also. Um, yeah. The way it started, the, 
it almost like, like it's gonna be a banger. Yeah, like thrashy, a little, a little bit of like early two thousands hate breed almost with the pacing and a little municipal waste kind of sounding. Riff yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but it just man that chorus. How, so, how did how did that? Oh my god, awful, boring. <laughs> oh my totally god, boring. so boring. Yeah. Uh, man, this is this is an egregious example of filler. Mm. In, in my opinion so this was the last song on the side a too right yeah mm. so i bet a lot of people are bang and ended <laughs> with a whimper so where do we go i mean oh i didn't like it at all if, if it wasn't for the intro and, and you called out new metal before like that little post chorus mm-hmm. break i like that part but i'm gonna go let's go three seven this is a big dud yeah it's a skip this is yeah (laughs) three seven (laughs) it's starting to fall apart for me man yeah Um, definitely slipping uh, away um i guess let's uh move over to side b now and see if we can what does side b have in store for us are we going to get more of these post grunge new metal choruses or we got to get more just some of the class i just want the some 41 choruses dude like with the metal that's where they're at their best like honestly, so uh, in, more of rise up, more of a stranger in in these times would be great. You so. know what's weird? Like this is like a it's a double album, it's a concept album, but now this is the second time where it kind of there's a song from one side going into the next one where you actually have to get up and flip the album. I just I just think that's odd that they're that they're doing that. Man, um, we're the Spotify era, dude. We're in the you know. So they don't care about your your A side B side vinyl. It is weird that you'd have to get up and you'd have to flip, and it it's like yeah. Just when, to, then the other song starts. It is strange. Though. Yeah, when it's clearly flowing into it, and then yeah. have it end, you get up, flip it, and then it's like okay, this you know you're losing that. And I I feel like this was intended to be listened to on physical, just like with with the concept and everything. That's just the vibe yeah. I get. So that's it's odd, but I mean I won't subtract points for that. Obviously, we're not cruel. Yeah. Um, but the next song here is House of Liars. It's three minutes and six seconds. Uh, you ready to get into it? Let's do it, bro. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, House of Liars. What did you think? Meh. (laughs) I don't know. It was all right. I mean, not really. It was, it was, it was, it was kind of boring. Once again, I didn't get anything out of that song. Honestly, it was total snooze fest for me. I feel like it, if they picked it up, if they just upped the tempo a little bit, it would have been a better song. But I don't know. That song, I would skip it. I would skip it every time. That that's a boring song to me, dude. That I, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It, it, it's it's very screaming bloody murder. Yes, that's a hundred percent. With the piano and how he sings it, and once again, uh, also sounds like it could be like a, a B side off of like Black Parade, but not a good one. Mm-hmm. Like a like a <laughs> so like, but screaming bloody murder. We'll we'll get into it in a tier list. Like has so much Black Parade influence. Um, but yeah, I don't know, dude. This is this is probably my least favorite song. Whereas at least the other ones, even with like the kind of post grunge choruses at least had some like interesting guitar work a guitar solo some cool groove metal stuff going on this one i feel like had nothing i'm going i'm going 3.5 i'm going so wow I, I, yeah this is my lowest one i, I don't like it it was boring uh, so this is what do you think there's like an interesting thing happening here like this is so when we when this was announced, I was fully expecting heaven to be like, just kind of goofy MGK style pop punk. And I was looking way more forward to hell to be, to yeah. be honest with you. Now with that said, I am kind of a little different from you. I think this song is better than the last two. Uh, okay. it, it at least had kind of a hook in the chorus. It, it wasn't like that halftime boring Christian metal chorus like it, I mean, maybe it's because i was raised on that stuff but i don't <laughs> mind it <laughs> um but i mean it's it's still filler it's it's, it's total filler 
nothing stands out about this song. Um, I, I'm gonna go. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I'm gonna go five three. I'll go five three. I like it better than the last two. I, I just think the last two at least have some elements I can cling on to. Where this one, I just felt like was the same kind of just boring mid tempo song the whole time. At least, uh, mm. what's the other one? Had the guitar solo. And at least, but eh, whatever. This is this. Yeah. yeah, my least favorite song personally. But now yeah. we're going to you wanted war this better be like a me- I'm, where's the metal dude <laughs> yeah where's the speed right <laughs> where's the speed where's that rise up and uh strange stranger in these ties were like the fastest songs like yeah come on give us something here you yeah. wanted war has to be it. it's like a pantera song title let's do it <laughs> all right let's see we we're clinging for dear life here we're we're dangerous dangerously close to getting all messed up so here we go. You wanted war in three, two, one. All right, Elliot, you wanted war. Let me hear what you think. We're in a better situation than we were before. And once again, totally saved by the guitar solo of the second half and the pickup of the pace. But uh, once again, we're still in like Screaming Bloody Murder territory with that chorus. That chorus is very similar to Screaming Bloody Murder. Uh, a little bit more intricate with the kind of the guitar riffs going on with the chorus. Uh, but it, to me, there's still like no edge to this. There's, it's still very dull. And I feel like that's there's just we're just kind of like missing like a big chorus or a big breakdown or something interesting. And, you know, I do appreciate them doing the guitar solos. Uh, bands don't really do guitar solos anymore, so it's it's pretty awesome to hear Dave just kind of flex what he can do on the guitar. Uh, but overall, this song is still pretty not not my favorite by any means. Uh, but it, it, it's higher up. It, it has some stuff going there. I don't know, like, dude, I, I'm feeling like makes no difference. A yeah. little, maybe slight leaning towards reason to believe, but I don't know. I'll do I'll do like six four six three. Let's do six three. Six three. Yeah. I don't know, man, if I'm just getting jaded on this, but I, I feel like, you know, it's, it starts off pretty fast. Right. Mm -hmm. But it just, it feels like fool's gold. Like I, I feel like it's just more of the same, just boring, Mm -hmm. lifeless radio rock. Like, I don't know, man, this feels very uninspired to me. Even, even the guitar solo, like I'm glad it's there, but it's, yeah. I mean, I've heard a thousand solos like that before. Like it's nothing really exceptional. Um, I, I know this is, it's falling flat for me. I like, I, I like, I'm not going to get fooled by like a, a slight pickup and pace. It's still very boring, very dull. Yeah. Like it is, they should have just put rise up and uh stranger in these times on the, on the other album and scrapped all these shitty songs <laughs> that that's where, the, yeah. <laughs> that's where yeah. I'm at. This is. <laughs> Oh yeah, my God. it's pretty dull. How low are you on this one? So it's it's tough to say. Like at first, like you know, when we were on "I Don't Need Anyone" and "Over the Edge," I was like, okay, you know, it's I, I could take a, a handful of these songs. But you're gonna throw yeah. four of them in my face all at once. Like I'm gonna yeah. get progressively like, all right, yeah. all right, all right. You know what I mean? There's also just like you said, there's no edge to this. There's no yeah. if they feel very generic. There's a lot of generic stuff going on here. Like there's all the pieces that sound like it should be like this heavy, really in your face banger, but it, it just kind of comes and goes. So mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I think you're right. I might even be a little lower. I might just go down to six. Honestly, <laughs> I think, I think I was being a little generous there. All right. So four, nine, six. Yeah. I'm Dude, sorry. like you can only eat grilled cheese so many days in a row, you know, and grilled cheese is fine, but don't give it to me four days in a row. That's, that's where I'm at with this stuff. Now, if it's a BLT, uh, that's a whole different, <laughs> it's a whole different beast. We can eat that every day, but yeah. no, we're not doing grilled cheese every day. <laughs> uh, this we're we're like we're into like firmly back half of order and decline. Thirteen voices now, like yeah, we, we are. This is this is very 
Yeah. All right. Well, I don't think we're going any better here because I I, it looks like we have a Rolling Stones cover coming up next. I'm not sure. Dude, like why? Why? Why cover painted? Like how many times do we have to hear a different version of this song? And Tom is in Gob, who did a kick ass version of this, like what, 20 something I, I think uh, the uh, the unseen also did a pretty kick ass version yes. of this. We'll see. We'll see if some forty one kid re just you know. I, I I think it's a cover. I think I heard people say it's a cover. So yeah, we'll see if they can do something really. I I highly doubt they'll be able to. But you know, I'm All going right. in pretty skeptical of this one. Top, so, like top of the good. top of the line cover is like a seven for me. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't expect. All right, well, here we go. Here's is painted black for the. Thousand time by the thousandth band. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it was a, exactly what I expected. It's very hard to screw this song up. Well, what, what did you think, Elliot? I mean, the only thing good about the song is the fact that it's painted black, and painted black is a good song. Yeah. Like, I don't, this is like a horrible cover. It's so boring. This is awful cover. This is this is not good at all. Like I don't <laughs> think it's good at all. I didn't want to hear it. I almost uh, reflexively skipped it, but I realized we couldn't do that mm-hmm. <laughs> because we're doing a live reaction. Uh, this would be a skip every time. This is not a good painted black cover. It's I don't know why it's on the album. Uh, this is a song that's been covered a billion times by a billion different bands and better by a lot of bands. Uh, the unseen. Uh, street punk band covered it and they actually did an awesome cover where they're like screaming paint it black and it has a lot of energy behind it you say gob did a good paint it black cover and uh this is a skip this is a skip every time i'm not going to listen to some 41 like just like with no energy dolly just uninspiredly cover paint it black like a two it was like a two it's like a one it's like a one one. i'm not gonna go to zero because it's like paint it black it's like the melody is still fine but it's a one like i'm not gonna listen to this (laughs) like why would i listen to this yeah yeah so like i mean i don't i don't want to go too far into this but why why is this here on a concept album where like why are you putting a call like why isn't this a bonus track or a japanese yeah. only track it's just <laughs> oh, I, poor japanese i i don't get it especially since they just did what gob did like why um yeah. with all that said painted black is a better song than the last four piles of shit they threw at us so uh <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not a christian new metal song so I, I it has that going for it um, <laughs> go ahead kill you this is your 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 thoughts your numbers don't like, let me influence you the humming was i bad. i don't know uh bad, it was bad it was a bad cover it was a bad song it was boring it was generic it was uninspired there was no life behind it it was Oh an, unnes- an unnecessary cover of a song we've heard a billion times. I mean, I'm going to go 3.0. I mean, I I don't hate it. I mean, uh, am I ever going to listen to it again? Probably not. But I don't yeah. know. I, I hate it. So <laughs> We're, I hate we, we are descending and, into hell as fans, which is maybe the intention yeah, I mean, of this I, side. I, I don't want to be like too hard. I, I, I legitimately, not just the fact it's painted black, I legitimately think this is like an uninspired cover. It, it's yeah. not going to get any points from me just because the melody is nice. It's painted black. Like I could sing painted black and it'd be like, okay, it could be, <laughs> it could be a one as well. <laughs> this should have been like a, this so far, I mean, and there's two songs left, but this should have been like a, like a seven inch rise up and, and stranger in these times. And then like all these five songs on the B side, yeah. Like that it's a bonus. It's a hundred percent a bonus track. It's a bonus track that you listen to and you're like, oh, okay, they covered paint it black. That's cool. That's a little extra yeah. feature. I I'm like, like I'm second guessing going to see them next month after these songs. And well, it's, yeah, they have all the other songs they're gonna play. I know. <laughs> all right, okay. let's let's see. Can, can they salvage this hell album? And that's what it's called. We're not we're not getting into hyperbole. But yeah. um this Let's song is called it. It's All Me. We got two left. It's This is only two minutes, two minutes and 18 seconds. So maybe we're going to get a fast one here, but. Oh, uh, something. All right, here we go. Let's just get into it. We're over. We're an hour and 10 minutes into this. So let's go. Three, two, one. All 
All right. So I had heard this album was this side was going to be like a lot like Chuck. Right. And I feel like yeah. that's, this is kind of the first time we actually get a little taste of Chuck. Uh, we get the Kirk Hammett solo, of course. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, we've been, we've been really descending into a really negative place the last few songs. I, I let's, let's pull ourselves a little bit out of that. I, I think yeah. this is an okay song, right? It's pretty if good. This was, if this was placed earlier, mm. I think after we kind of trug through all that, uh, I think like you said, we got to get out of this sad space because I would just I was just kind of be like, ah, it's better. But I think if it was earlier on, I, I would definitely be like, yeah, this is a good song. It does sound like more in the Chuck vein. Uh, I think Stranger These Times also was uh, Chuck to me as well. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, this is a good song. This is a good song. Has a lot of energy. It's fast paced. Uh, the guitar solo at this point. I'm getting a little bored of them, but it's still good. It's very like good job, Dave. Very talented. Um, so yeah, this is like I'm trying to try to place myself. Let's go back in time before you have uh, to. we hit. Yeah, we have to get before we hit. I don't need anyone and over the hedge. If this came after Stranger in these times. Like so gave an eight. I would probably give this like a seven. Mm-hmm. I think I would give this a seven. So I think that's fair. I think this is makes no difference. Reason to believe. I think I enjoyed this song. Yeah, that's. I say I, I, I say I think my brain's still in just a fog of, of just like the fog of war here, where I'm just like after paint it black, I, I'm like pretty nihilistic towards the hell side. <laughs> yeah, like I'm doing my best to kind of put myself like if I if we we're like okay let's here we go this is gonna be the hell side and this was the first song yeah, I'd be like okay, be like, oh, okay let's go let's okay. go right? so yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to do that. I, I tend to once once I'm in like a negative headspace, I kind of remain there. So I'm trying to dig myself out, resurrect my uh, positivity oh, here man, on it's Easter. Easter. John, it's Easter, you know. <laughs> so uh, Jesus, the Easter Bunny, very positive figures. Uh, so, so if that was the case, I would firmly be in reason to believe it's fast. It's got a solo. It's a little thrashy. Um, the, now the solo and the backing guitar are very reminiscent of things I've heard on Chuck. And I think that's intentional and it's smart, you know, um, Chuck is, I feel like it's going to be, it's almost everyone's like S or a some 41. So I understand the callback, uh, reason to believe. And I would go, I could see myself listening to this again, which is the first time I've said that in five tracks. So I'm going to go, I'm right with you there. I'm going to go seven, one. I think it's a strong contender for top two, top three on the album so far. So we'll score accordingly seven, one, um, which is nice. Here we go. Maybe, maybe this last song, how the end begins is going to blow us away and get us out of this murky territory. Uh, what do you think? No, it's probably not going up, but. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last song, How the End Begins in 3, 2, 1. All right, that's going to that's gonna close out the album. So we're going to do our, our thoughts on this and then the double album as a whole. We'll give Hell a score first. Uh, after yeah. after we talk about this song, but go ahead. Final song on on the record. How the I end feel begins. Like, yeah, I feel like this would be a very bittersweet uh, song to hear at the end of the Hell side. Um, I like the concept. I like what they're going for. I don't like the song, but um, at the end of Hell side, I think it's a it's a good so long farewell slow song, and I think a lot of fans will like that. But it would be way more effective. If we just if this was not after a kind of a trudge through all of these post grunge uh, kind of mid tempo boring songs, this would be way more effective for me. I feel like if the hell side had a lot more uh, heavier songs, faster songs with fewer of these slower breakdowns that now the end begins would uh, be it would be very effective. I think I don't think it's like a great song or anything like that, but I think it's an effective way to close the album. And I think it's a bittersweet. And I think a lot of fans will probably like it and appreciate it. And I'm sure a lot of people, you know, be, be tearing up as some 41s one of their favorite <laughs> bands as this song plays. I, I can see that. But as a song, I, it's 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 a whatever. It's a five like, you know, and it would be way more effective. Once again, if uh, the hell side 
was more in the Chuck vein, mm-hmm. was more in that instead of more of the 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 B side cuts on Thirteen Voices, uh, the B side cuts on Order and Decline, the saw the, some of the tracks off of Screaming Bloody Murder we were getting. If we had more Rise Up, if we had more Stranger in These Times, if we had more, it's all me. If we got rid of that awful, awful painted black cover that did not need to be here, I feel like this would be. I would be fine with this as the ending, but overall I'm, I don't like the hell side. I don't know what people who are saying the hell side is better than the heaven side. They were smoking crack. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you think what you want. And the heaven side is better. I think the heaven side yeah. is better. And uh, I, I, it's not that I don't like heavy music. It's just that this is not, this wasn't even that heavy. It was dull. It had no, had no bite. And so, but what, what do you think? So I yeah. rambled on there for a second. Uh, no, it's good. Um, because I, I, I'm still not sure. Like, I think this is a fine closer. I, I don't think it's near, um, like, from I Don't Need Anyone Through, You Want a War. I think it's better than all of those songs. So, but, it, I mean, at the end of the day, nobody will listen. Well, I mean, I don't want to say, I don't want a blanket statement, but the last song on the album is very rarely going to be the best or near the best. It's it's This mm-hmm. is, like, their goodbye, like you were saying. Yeah. Uh, I would I would have liked them to go out on a more signature song, but I guess that's not really what bands do. Uh, I appreciate it for what it is. It's it's definitely not going to be one of my favorite Sum 41 songs, but I think it's fine. It's it's an okay goodbye. I'm going to go six two on it just because it is what it is. It's a it's a mid tempo rock song, which seems to be more or less what these guys write nowadays with the with the last few songs. So. I'll just go quickly here on my overall thoughts of hell. So yeah. I, I'm, I, I don't really know, like I almost for the tier list, I almost want to split heaven and hell, even though that's kind of against like what we do on the, on the tier list because overall hell, right. It's very much in the vein of 13 voices and order and decline. But I feel like those few, those two albums, they're, they're not my favorite. Some 41 albums, but I felt like they were a clear, clear, standout tracks bad. right like there there were like you, you would get like these kind of lulls where like you know some 41 is writing radio rock and it's like whatever skip but then you'd get hit with like the big single yeah, like the they, big they hit songs you with a, with a banger i think on order and decline it was like you started off with uh out for blood which is a great song and then you'd go you'd kind of middle a little bit and then you'd hit 45 a matter of time which i thought went pretty fucking hard Mm -hmm. i feel like we didn't get that with this i felt like we started with the bang and then we never we never picked back up again and uh if they had like an absolute banger where pain at black was uh if they had another rise up where pain at black was this this would be looking a lot (laughs) better but i think it just we just kind of yeah, we went kind of downhill mm. and just never really picked back up other than It's All Me. But It's All Me is just like a two-minute track. Yeah. It's it's fine on its own, but it's sandwiched in between the last song and, like, the worst song. Yeah, so. I, I want to, like, preface this by saying, too, the first time I listened to 13 Voices and the first time I listened to, even going back to Screaming Bloody Murder, like, the first time I listened to those, I was like, eh, you know, I don't really care for this. But all three of them have kind of grown on me over yeah. the years, especially now where we're like, li- I've been listening to, like we decided on doing this tier list, like once this album was announced. So like, I've been kind of dabbling for like the last three months into the catalog and I've come to appreciate parts of those so- those albums that I didn't before. So that's not mm-hmm. to say like, you know, I'm always going to be like, oh, this album kind of um, sucks. Um, all, Screaming Bloody Murder, What Am I to Say is actually a great slow song as well. I actually think it's a great song off Screaming Bloody Murder. Screaming Bloody Murder, also not my favorite, but there's certain tracks have grown on me, and I, I don't see anything on the hell side that comes comes even close to that mm. song, honestly. Uh, well, no, Rise Up and uh, Stranger in These Times, but I'm talking about their their slower tempo songs, which I do yeah. like a lot of. Like, what Am I to Say is a good song, but none of them come close to the the greats that some 41 have put out the, these slower songs. <sighs> Do you have an idea of where, where you want to rank hell? Like I I'm like, uh, yeah, 5.5. So, okay. I, I think it's, uh, I think it starts off really great, but honestly, if I, if I'm being real, there's only like three good songs on the whole mm-hmm. side and the intro, I guess it works with rise up, but there's only three good songs. So over half the, the album, I don't really care for too much. So, 5.5 5 seems fair to me and seven 
for that. And I think uh, for the whole record, I might just go in between and I'll probably do like a six, six point three, six point five or something like that for the full record. How about six point well, four then right in the middle? Six point four, <laughs> six point four for the full record. I think hell brought it down a, mm. a good bit, but I think heaven had uh, moments that were good enough to to at least isolate the heaven side. So, OK, so yeah. I, I feel like I, I don't remember. I was like mid to low sevens for heaven. Yeah, um, I definitely found that more enjoyable. Now, this one, I'm like, I, I don't want like so when I like I, I was kind of saying like with 13 voices in order and decline, if you would ask me on first listen, I would be like in like the sixes right now. I'm kind of like the more I listen to those, the more I'm kind of like picking up on things I like. So I don't want to like kill this album. Like I may yeah. be too late for that. We've already shoveled on five feet of dirt, but, um, <laughs> uh, God, I, I just like, so we, we recorded this strung out, uh, reaction like two weeks ago now. And after I listened to that, I immediately wanted to listen to it again. Spo I, I don't know what I'm spoiling big time. Cause that review is not coming out for another week, but like, I cannot, maybe it's because we just listened to 20 some 41 songs. Yeah. I can't see myself like there's, there's no scenario where I'm listening to this again today. Let me, let me say that. No, so, no, I'm not revisiting this for a little while and I would probably just listen to half the album. So, yeah, I, I, I think for this side, like I am like somewhere between 4.8 and 5.2 for the hell side. And yeah. like, I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of like, I don't know, like I'm, I'm cheating a little bit with a five, but like I, for hell, I'm at a five, like uh, maybe, yeah. maybe a four, nine, four, eight, but like, it's so bland. Like the, the middle is so bland and it's got, it's bookended by some, some heat. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm at a five and I think it was, a, I don't know it's like an hour ago now. So like, se I think I was at like a seven, two or seven, three on heaven. So I'm going to, I'm just going to average it out. I'm going to, I'm like right with you actually. I'm going to go. So some 41 heaven and hell double album. I'm going to go six, three okay. overall. Cool. Um, fair. It was a roller coaster, but it was like a kitty roller coaster. You know, I wasn't having that much fun. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we weren't drunk enough to <laughs> yeah. be honest. So if we, if this was later in the day and we were hammered, we might like the album more. No, <laughs> yeah, this was a, this was a lot more, uh, flay oh, yeah, the hippogriff just, than, uh, Hagrid's yeah. magical creatures as a roller coaster. Uh, that's, that's kind of where I'm at with this. Um, yeah, I, I just feel like there's no edge. It was very safe, very boring. And, uh, we just didn't get a whole lot of like, I thought the hell was supposed to be the metal side, but it was actually just the post grunge, <laughs> post grunge Christian metal side, uh, the skillet, the three days grace. And then there's this awful, awful cover of painted black. <laughs> Man, you hate, hate that cover. I hate it. Why would you do it? It's like so generic. It's so boring. It, it, it didn't do anything good. I would skip it. I almost skipped it when I listened to it. I hate that cover. That's horrible. Why would you put that there? I, I've never disliked a song so much on one of these until this. I, I just like, why would you do it? It's, it's like, like I'm perplexed. It's like exacerbated to that somebody in this band already covered that song in their other band. That's that's to me like where it's like, why? Why? I don't even more of a why. This to is me. your farewell. This is your final album. You're gonna give us a painted black cover, not a good one. Like I mm. said, unseen. If you want a good painted black cover, the unseen painted black cover goes hard as fuck like that that covers awesome yeah <laughs> all right so let's wrap this up here we are at an hour and 25 minutes almost so yeah. if, if you watched all this like thank you thank you very yeah, much yeah. I, I know things got things got dicey um after we're just being honest, we're just being honest and i love some 41 and i even yeah. like order and decline i like 13 voices like i can revisit those uh and I want to love this record because it is the final record is the final farewell. And I want to feel bittersweet towards it and, and really just hit a lot of things. And almost like I, I was hoping to go through a little bit more of like memory lane of different styles and like that. But we didn't really get that. We kind of got some 
newer things they're trying out and some stuff they did in 13 voices that i, I just don't like i don't i don't mm. like the mid-tempo radio rock stuff they do it, it's I've, I've heard it all before and i i love that we love the band we both mm. love this band like a lot and in all killer all the way through honestly I, I find bits that i like about it and there's bits about this album that i like as well so it's not a total day. I mean, six, six around a six that that's that's not bad for, mm. <laughs> you know, for a band's like what? Like, I don't know what album this is, but it's, um, I think it's I think it's eight. I mean, I, I consider half hour power an album. I, I see people all the time say it's an EP, but I, it's an it's an album. It's an right. album to me. <laughs> I, I think even the band considers it an EP, but we're, we're definitely going to include that on the tier list. And oh, yeah. Real quick, just some closing thoughts. Like, Sum 41 is a top 10 band of all time for me. So I know we're going to get killed in the comments. Like, every single one of these videos we do, everybody wants us to go 9, 9, 9, 10, 10, 10. It's not going to happen. Like, I don't live in that world. But um, it's it's a top 10 band of all time for me. I love Sum 41. The first, Same. like, four or five albums are, like, pretty untouchable for me. So mm -hmm. anything I say, this is just a first reaction. Like not everybody has to love everything the band's ever done. Music is subjective. You like what you like. If it makes you happy, it makes you happy. If it makes you indifferent, you're indifferent. It's just people yeah. have different opinions on music. That's just the way it is. If you want to, you know, call us incels and whatever, like all these people throwing out this crazy stuff in the comments because we don't like a <laughs> random song. So be it. I mean, I fully expect it. I'm not reading the comments today. I'm not reading the comments tomorrow. Um, I'll read them. I'll read them all. <laughs> and look, look, music subjective. But if you like the hell side, <laughs> you're stupid and you're wrong. And you have no I taste. Know. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, just, I'm waiting. I know a lot of people in the Discord would like the hell side better. So we'll, we'll so we'll see what some people say and their reactions to this. So we'll get some feedback. Yeah. And we, I, I won't reconsider. Like, there's no way the hell side better, is better no. than the side like absolutely not like but uh i will say my favorite song is on the hell side stranger in these times so mm -hmm. okay but. well we'll wrap it up here um at this rate this is gonna take longer than on a sunday on easter it's this video is gonna take like five hours for youtube to process so we'll <laughs> we'll cut it here if you agree with us thank you so much even if you disagree with us thank you so much for watching and sticking around for an hour and a half video uh, it means a lot that you care what we think. If you do care, if you don't care, you don't care. So we don't care. But um, we'll wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and safe Easter. Um, we're going to do the Fat Wreck live um, round two tier, uh, bracket Thanks. on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So make sure you show up. If you have if you have major beef uh, with what we said here, that's the best place to, uh, yeah. to really let us hear it. Um, okay, yeah. $5 super chats and we'll, we'll read all your <laughs> hatred so yeah exactly all right so we will see you all hopefully on wednesday with fat wreck and then we're going to do the tier list for some 41 very soon need this one to resonate don't i don't want to reactionary takes in the uh in the tier list so i take those very seriously so uh stick around for that make sure you subscribe leave a like comment all that stuff helps other people find the channel so yeah that's gonna do it uh thanks again we'll see you all next time peace out